Hey everybody, this is Bill and Deb with iRide Tiny House Adventures. Good afternoon. It is afternoon, isn't it? Yes, In fact, sir. it's middle to late afternoon. It's pushing evening. And it's a crappy day, too. <laughs> I'll say. Yeah, it's a crappy day. <laughs> this is Wednesday the 5th or 4th? I think so. 5th, I think. Uh, I have to look. Up. I don't. It's, it's Wednesday, and it's either the 4th or 5th of February. It's cold, yeah. and it snowed. We didn't stick, because it's not that cold. Yeah. It's just a miserable wet day. Well, the temperature right now is 32 degrees. But it's awesome in here. But it's awesome in here. Yeah, so. yeah. We're, we're we're nice and cozy, aren't we? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yep, got a pot of enchilada Whoa. soup on. Yeah, enchilada soup. I prefer to call it stew. Enchilada and I've been stew. painting, and you've been playing music. And I've been playing music, and I did a little recording a little bit ago, too. So we're all good. And yeah. Delilah's sleeping. Well, yeah, well. Was sleeping. Was sleeping. She's <laughs> being nosy now. Anyway, um, this is a quick update because uh, a lot of folks asked about uh, how Deb is doing since her surgery. And today marks uh, the three weeks. Three weeks. Since you had your surgery, and they removed the. Uh, the cancer spot on your tongue, right? That is correct. Yeah. And um, anyway, uh, she went to see the doctor for your follow-up visit last Thursday, which would have been uh, two weeks and one day since your surgery. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And um, did we have what we would consider good news? You I, think? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Do you want me to go into it or do you want no, to explain? No, you go it? right ahead. I'm fine. I'm just chillaxing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mighty fine. Well, basically in a nutshell, the doctor told us that um, the area was very thin. It wasn't very deep, so he didn't have to go very deep to get it. And, um, of course, when they do go in and do this, they take uh, more out in an outlying area around. So then when they look at it, uh, pathology... They look and see if it's uh, has spread to the perimeter of it. Is that a perimeter? <laughs> yeah, it felt per like that much, but I don't think it was like, that much. <laughs> anyway, it did feel like it was. <laughs> but in a nutshell, uh, the doctor told us that uh, they got it all right. Yes. And there was some clean tissue beyond that. Am I saying that correctly? You think? Yes. Okay. Uh, and the fact that it was thin and he didn't have to dig very deep was really good too. And he was pleased about that as well. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so anyway, uh, she does have to go back and see the doctor in two months. Is that right? Yes. And then probably for a little while there, it'll be a 90 day thing ever, ever 90 days. And then here's what he said. He said, uh, it's possible that we'd have to whittle on it. And that's exactly the word he used was whittle. It's possible that uh, they but you would just have to. Love doctors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to whittle on it um, again, or he said it may never come back. And of course, that's we're the gonna, option we're taking. Yes, well, <laughs> we're we're taking steps to uh, try to make sure that it doesn't happen again. That's for sure. Yeah. So uh, we were very pleased with that. Um, we're just about done with all this doctor stuff, aren't we? Yes, I hope so. I'm yeah. tired of doctors. Yeah. If it's not yeah. me, it's him. If it's well, <laughs> it's I'm like, just about stop. done. I'm just about done. <laughs> Things are going very, very well, uh, uh, mm. and uh, the foot is almost completely, completely healed, and I'm feeling great. I'm feeling fantastic. We're ready to get back to traveling and get our bikes and yep. Doing things absolutely just visiting absolutely. doctors is as you all know anyone that's had, yeah you know I know yeah I shouldn't complain no no we're just glad <laughs> that we caught things as we did and that's something else that we want to mention right quick folks we, and here's the thing he the doctor said that the that these situations with the tongue and spots on the tongue that eventually turn into cancer is a pretty common thing and we never even gave it a second thought we never thought that she could possibly have cancer on her tongue. I've never I mean, known of anybody. But, no, you know, <laughs> we we don't know anybody that's had that happen. And of course, when we posted the video about this, when it all began, we had several folks come in. And of course, uh, where were tons and tons of well wishers and people uh, uh, expressing concern and everything. And we are so appreciative of all that. But then a lot of folks told us about either they had a similar experience or they had a family member, and we didn't realize that this was as common as a situation yeah, as it is. We knew. <laughs> but what we're trying to say is, if you end up with a sore on your tongue and it won't go away, don't just blow it off. Yeah, because, don't blow it off the way I did. <laughs> yeah, because, uh, you know, it's it's hard to imagine 
what could have happened had we never have uh, have uh, dealt with this, you know? Don't you agree? Yes. I mean, you know, it's possible if we hadn't done anything and she just went ahead and continued, and continued on. on with the pain and everything and took naproxen sodium all the time, it's possible that I couldn't have her a year from now, and I just can't stand that. That The thought of that is just not... not <laughs> No, absolutely uh, not. Okay, fine. Now, that's not what he says no. off camera. Oh, that's not true, and you know it. And you know it. But anyway, uh, that's about all. This will be the final update on this. There's no reason to go. Like nope. we said at the beginning, there's no reason to keep uh, going into no. this or anything. But there were folks that were concerned and expressed concern and comments on other videos that we've posted. So we thought we'd go ahead and get this up here and so people could see. Uh, what have we been doing? Uh, well, we had some folks come and visit us over the weekend, last weekend. Yes, and that's always nice. Angie and Joey, they brought their 32-foot uh, Jayco up here and spent a few days and had us over for lunch on Saturday afternoon. And my, 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 we had <laughs> steak and baked beans and, and potato salad. And <sighs> it was just awesome. Just yes. awesome. Yeah. And we really enjoyed our visit with... Uh, Angie and Joy was so happy for them to come and see us, and we really appreciated them coming and visiting with us, and it was wonderful. It was wonderful. Uh, and we've had a lot of folks come and visit us here while we're here as winter camp hosts. So uh, there's so many ways. Oh, and don't forget the rendezvous. Yeah. Can't forget the rendezvous. You know, that's uh, not that far off. You know, before you know it, uh, the first two weeks in May, we'll be here. And we're having it. And, and let me stress this: it is not an organized event. We're not going to say, "Okay, at this such and such time, we're all going to get together and we're going to have potluck, or we're going to do this, or we're going to do that." That would take great organizational yeah, yeah. skills, and we tend to just whatever. This is mainly just an <laughs> impromptu meet and greet. Now we have had a lot of folks um, say that they're coming. You know, we've had uh, folks on our uh, uh, Tiny House Adventures family group page that have said they're coming, and we've had several folks comment in the comment section that you're coming and we'll state it one more time it is going to be held between the dates of may the 1st and may the 15th at lost bridge north campground on beaver lake in northwest arkansas if you think you want to come during that time and this is a beautiful campground folks we think it's the prettiest campground on beaver lake don't we we're kind of partial yeah. we consider it's it our campground <laughs> now that we're park hosts here as well uh, <laughs> until at least march 31st uh, anyway uh, we we think it's beautiful and there's no such thing as a bad campsite in this campground wouldn't you say well, no, down in, in the, the area that's down by the water, which right. is well over 30 sites, it's available down there. 33. 33. 34. Thir 33 or 34. 34. Yeah, well, they can look it up online. It's real easy to find. You can just Google Lost Bridge North Campground, Arkansas, and you'll find it. And it's a, a Corps of Engineer campground, so it'll be a www.gov website. Okay. It's twenty dollars a night. Dot recreation dot gov. Yeah, it's twenty dollars a night, and it has thirty amp with water available throughout the park where you can fill up your holding tanks. Yeah. there is a dump station. Yep. Um, if you have um, the pass, the um, senior pass, or if you have a uh, disability disabled, pass, uh, yeah. those kinds of things. I think even some um, military passes qualify, but don't hold me to yeah, that. Look that yeah, up. look that up. But it's. Um, 50% of that, so your park rent would be $10 right. a night. Right, right. And so. uh, it's all done via the www.gov. Yeah, and if you don't have the senior pass, or I think they could refer to it as the America the Beautiful card. Yeah, I think so, now. It's It's well worth the investment to get that because there are so many uh, beautiful Corps of Engineer campgrounds, you know, all over the country, but by and large... The vast majority of them all are east of the Mississippi, all you know, uh, in the eastern half of the country. There are a few in the western half, though, as we were discovering. Not a lot, but there are a few. Even Montana has one up there. Wow. Yeah. But anyway, uh, and I think uh, the the pass now is eighty dollars. If it's if you're getting it as a senior, it's uh, eighty dollars, and that's it one time. And I do believe there's one you can get if you're not a senior, but don't hold me to that. Do your research. Um, 
But you, it's a yearly thing. You have to buy it every year. Right. Right. I believe so. For that one. And, and it's 80 If bucks. you have a disability with your proven disability papers, I don't think there's a charge for it at all. It may not be. may not be. I'd but research that, that and yeah. see. Okay. But it's well worth the money, folks. And beautiful uh, Corps of Engineer campgrounds, for the most part, are beautiful campgrounds. You're not jammed in one after the other. You, you know, it's uh, and usually they'll be on a beautiful stream or a lake or something like that. So anyway. Anything else? Uh, so what have you been doing that doing during this time, dear? Been, I've been doing been... a lot of painting. Um, I don't know. It just seems to kind of be working together. <laughs> the how painting. Many, how many more have you got now? Um, All together. I've got six, seven, working on my eighth one. Uh -huh. Yeah, working on your eighth one. Yeah. And it's not ready to show them, I guess, or is it? Well, we can show you, but I may but add not, to it. You're, see. you're far from being done with I'm it. I'm not done. Know. Yeah. Can they see it from there? You can get it up. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So you got a lot of stuff to add to that one. I'm thinking. You're putting, he's putting lightning in it? I'm trying to do lightning. So it's a thunderstorm? It is a thunderstorm at sea. At sea. <laughs> or around right. the ocean. Around the ocean. Yeah, she's been learning how to do waves and things like I'm that. I'm ready so for thunderstorms. Cool. So she's got Which a lot means of pain. spring. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, and I've been uh, uh, playing more music, uh, in practicing more music, you know, getting ready for the season because I'll start playing at, uh, at different places, you know, beginning in the spring. And you might be able to talk me into pulling my guitar out at the impromptu rendezvous, too, and playing a few songs there. We'll just see. And... Uh, Depends upon how many of us are there yeah. versus how many people that don't yeah. want to listen to yeah. music. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how that goes. You know, it's here again. It's not an organized event. But I have been uh, working on some stuff, and uh, I didn't realize how many songs I had written. But uh, I've got... There you go. I'm, I don't know how many now. But what we're going to do here right quick, we're going to uh, end this video... Uh, with another song that I wrote here a while back and um, I just did a rough recording of it just a little bit ago. All these recordings that you hear that we post whenever I show you one uh, that I've written at the end of the video uh, were recorded in a very basic setup with just a little, it's a little handheld recorder. It's about that long and uh, that's it. You know, it's just uh, pretty much unplugged and raw. So uh, it's not uh, anywhere near studio quality. But I do have a new setup that I'm going to be learning how to use where I can get uh, better studio style recordings. And we'll be working on that before too long. So anyway, we'll, uh, we'll kind of let it go with that. But um, we're going to leave you with uh, another montage of Deb's, some of Deb's paintings. And uh, one of the songs that I wrote, and this particular song is called Oh I Do. And uh, I actually wrote this one way back, I think, like on our 42nd or 43rd anniversary and never did anything with it. But lately I've been playing a little bit more and changed it up just a tad. So we're going to say goodbye for now. Y'all take care. Come and see us if you can. Come to the Impromptu Rendezvous. We'd love to meet you and see you folks. And for now, we're going to say this is Bill and Deb with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. And we're not camping. We're living. Yes. Y'all take care. We'll see you again soon. Hope you enjoy the paintings and the song. Bye-bye now. We stand here together So young and pure A fire burns inside us No more we can endure Our lives lay before us A portrait will paint And we yearn to be together No longer can we wait he asks, do I take your hand in mine To love you and to cherish you to the end of time Oh, I do Yes, I do As time passes by Our love, it never wanes and through seeds that we have planted Three children bear our name The struggles of life They're taking their toll And we now begin to see One day we'll grow old She asked Am I still as pretty as before? Do you love me and cherish me? Is it me you still adore? Oh, I Yes, I do.
do Yes, I 